Madonna defends her nude NFT collaboration with Beeple. Mm, I didn't. This is not one that was on my radar at all. I didn't know this, that she did this. Madonna defended herself against backlash this week after releasing a graphic series of non-fungible tokens that feature a depiction of her nude body, saying the project shows her doing what women have been doing since the beginning of time, which is giving birth. Whoa. Uh, the series of three NFTs are a collaboration between the 63-year-old singer and wildly popular digital artist Michael Winkleman, better known as Beeple, the creator of an NFT that sold for an unprecedented $69.3 million at Christie's last year and helped kick off the digital collectible craze. That really was the moment. People were like, did you see the Beeple sale? I got to get in full. I got to get into this. Every artist in the world was like, well, NFTs, here we go. Uh-huh. However, the graphic nature of the NFTs, which depict a three-dimensional full frontal view of her vagina as it gives birth to a tree of butterflies and even robot insects, not sure. I guess that's the Beeple element. He's yes, very right. into the robot insects. Raised eyebrows online after the announcement with one tabloid labeling the work as a filthy attention grab while, uh, while users involved in the cryptocurrency space targeted Madonna with misogynistic messages, according to Fortune magazine. Forbes says, according to Fortune. Imagine that. In a recent Twitter space interview with Winkleman, Madonna acknowledged viewers might be weirded out, adding that not often does a robot centipede crawl out of my vagina, but said that each NFT is... Essentially, me giving birth, which women have been doing since the beginning of time. Proceeds from the auction, which ends Friday, will go to nonprofits that help support women and children. Madonna said, including the Voices of Children Foundation, which helps those who are living in refugee camps amid displacement from Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, the highest bid on the three NFTs, 27906 19835 and 29753 respectively. Yeah. Uh, well, listen. It's uh, it's going to be it's going to be everything, yeah. Eventually, so <clears throat> do if, you like the fact that it's a good cause? Uh, well, it, that's one of the things about it is that so much of the celebrity input or celebrity connection to mm. NFT has the feeling of cash grab associated with it. Yes, and so I think that they try to attach the nonprofit to be like, no, that's not really what it's about. I'm uh. Yes, I'm interested in the newfangled NFT space and the new art way, but it's a way of stating that you're not there just for financial means, but that you're trying to use it as, but it is, it is, I, I see you hi- highlighting robot centipede crawling out of the vagina. And I realize just, that what you're saying is that that's an odd source of. It's very shock. It, yeah, and it's an odd source of funding for nonprofits. Yes. But but you know what, Will? I don't know. I eh. you don't know. Are they is this nonprofit gonna know is uh who who it's a nonprofit that helps support women and children, including Voices of Children Foundation. When the kid gets the benefit of the centipede vagina, do they really make the connection? Or care? Probably not. Mm-hmm. Or care, Mo. Yeah. Maybe they think it's cool or funny or whatever, but part part of this thing is like the the NFT culture, and as you talked about, like your 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 own kind of fatigue with it, and then the attachment of celebrity, and like it's already going down a path where people are skeptical and they're bringing their scrutiny, and so then the art itself is also shock value, and then it's all part of this package deal of interpretation analysis but that's that's what happens there's no yeah. way around it so uh thank you for the super chat what is that name fenrir wolfhound sure yeah. lovely will smith to be replaced by this actor in aladdin 2 look at look at this oh uh, yeah look at the news source here that will pick can you read that the news <laughs> 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 it's called the news.com. Uh-huh. Uh, Will's Will Smith's <laughs> film career is currently going through a crucial phase after his infamous slapping of Chris Rock at the Oscars. Will Smith's career may face serious consequences for the infamous slap. Is that uh um Serena Williams? No, not Serena. It's that's Venus, Venus? I believe. But the thing is, is that the moment that the slap happened? Is that why she has that expression? The, I'm just I'm just trying uh, to remember the photo because it says courtesy of AMPAS American 
Motion Picture Association. So this must be the event. I'm just curious what was going on when she was making this pose. Like, oh, mm-hmm. my God. Oh, maybe hoping that he would win. But that, but him winning happened after the slap. So she yeah. moved on from the slap here? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> she thought it was nothing. <laughs> she's moving the on. The slap. Moving on. Did he win? I don't know. It would be awkward for them as well because he went up there and then said, maybe I'm just like their dad. I'm just acting like their dad because mm-hmm. I just shot King Richard. King and they're Richard. like, and they're like, I don't know. My dad didn't really do stuff like that. He yeah. I think yeah. you got the wrong guy. Well, he's like, I'm a protector. Uh-huh. I think I protected. That must have been awkward for them. The whole thing, listen, the whole thing sucked. But we were talking about human emotions earlier. And listen, man, so, sometimes stuff sucks. And uh, and sometimes you make mistakes. He made a mistake. I don't think he should be like, it really feels like the actual canceling is going on. But even in this case, I really don't think that that should happen. Like there should be a path. Out of there, whatever it is, there should be some type of path. It's it's so much despair when it just goes negative, 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 negative. Like nobody reaches a hand. I don't know if uh, maybe Chris Rock can help him. Even though I understand this thing, and 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 it's like there's a kind of a reaction which is screw you type of reaction, sure. and maybe even I'm going to sue you or whatever. I know you didn't press criminal charges. But you can also kind of send a message after some time passes that there is a path towards um, reconciliation. Forgiveness. That, yeah. Oh, you don't hear that word very often, do you, Will? No. Man, that shook me up right there, that word. You don't hear that word very often. Mm-hmm. Forgiveness. Yeah. Is anyone ever forgiven anymore? Maybe in time. No, I mean officially. I mean publicly. You are forgiven. That would have been crazy if Chris Rock came out and said that. Uh huh. It would have been crazy. But uh, again, I'm not sure it would have been in line with public opinion because mm-hmm. yeah. people would have said, "Don't for you know." Mm-hmm. It was so much intensity. Shout out to yes. Uh, Will Smith's career may face serious consequences for his infamous slap during the 2022 Oscar ceremony. King Richard, actor who smacked comedian Chris Rock in the face ma- for making a joke about Jada Pinkett. According to Giant Freaking Robot, the Pursuit of Happiness actor may get replaced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Aladdin 2. According to the source, Disney has begun talks with Johnson to play an unspecified role in the Aladdin sequel. Yeah, well, I mean, Hmm. hard to go wrong there with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's a... A buff genie. Yeah, genie's he's a little goofy, right? He's like silly and... What was that? A little silly, <laughs> right? That's the gene. Yeah. He does stuff like that. Did you get that on camera? I just don't I know did. if we okay. can. Uh, Those who are I, just listening to the audio, Mo did a series of movements. Right, silly movements. <laughs> he did a series of movements. I wasn't sure if he was okay or not. I mean, this this could be interesting, but I I, I think he would play a good. Gene. Did you? Do mm-hmm. you guys know about the huh? the gene, uh, the Aladdin movie? Yeah, I watched it. The the with Will Smith. Yeah. And was he I think good? He did, I think he did a good job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, it's no like it's not like the first one, but that has nostalgic Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Well, of course, I've seen that one. <clears throat> no, what I'm saying here is. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> What I'm saying here is, uh, will you? Would you feel that you would be missing Will Smith in the sequel since you watched the first one and you would be interested uh, in the sequel? Mm-hmm. Would you think, would you find it odd to be replaced? Like, could could he fill the shoes here? Do you? No, I don't, I don't hold Will Smith to that standard. In fact, I think if he was in it, I wouldn't be able to not think about the slap mm, the entire time. So. The slap would get in the way. Yeah. But I'm, I'm more interested being like, hmm, can, can The Rock play this? Okay, so then I guess they made the right choice. Here's a guy who watched the last one, mm-hmm. can't get the slap out of his head, mm-hmm. so won't go watch it with Will Smith in the sequel, and right. is intrigued by The uh, the Rock being the, involved. The new choice. So yeah. you are the customer, and oh, Disney, Disney just figured you <laughs> out, and, and they're going to solve everything. The Rock solves everything. Right. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. my yeah. God, there's a problem. Somebody do me a favor. Call Dwayne Johnson. He'll figure it out. And he's like, hello? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> hello? Yeah. Dwayne, you there? Yeah. I feel like... Um, yeah. 
Just, in, just finished my workout. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm in between lifts here. Yeah. You better get to it. They're like they're like Aladdin too. He's like fine. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Him and um, Kevin Hart. I feel like it's just so there easy was, to yeah. hire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, but Kevin Hart had the one, the one issue, the one time where he, he was going to host and then he couldn't host. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. remember yeah. that? Yeah. He had the one time and he oh wrote some God. stuff. Yeah. And I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, the Rock has something. I, I don't know. But he seems pretty, uh, like clean i don't yeah. know from this perspective i don't think he's been canceled attempt attempted mm -hmm. can that's like attempted murder it's like murder attempted murder right. cancel mm -hmm. attempted cancel right. they're yeah. two different categories because the real true cancel actually doesn't happen that often but the attempted cancel happens all the time all the time yeah and it gets called cancel mm -hmm. prematurely because you can't call it cancel if the guy or girl never went anywhere it's like wait right. you're calling me cancel i'm not i don't feel canceled at all mm -hmm. And so we need actually separate terms here, mm -hmm. uh, just like murder. We need tempted and actual. Right. Actual cancel is, um, I can't, maybe there's been a couple, I don't know. Mm-hmm.